hi moms welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is diana i'm a mom of one so i just do this thing about mom stuff and the journey so far and the things we learn on our way and how to improve and just sharing some knowledge yeah so if you haven't liked shared and subscribed yeah maybe you should start by subscribing yeah so um today's topic is a bit of my own little research so it's it's an article uh, my husband shared with me and i thought maybe it would be nice if i shared it with you especially if you're a just a, a new not necessarily for a new mom but just a mom in general so basically the article it's a bbc article i'll put a link on the description box so it's a bbc article on the science of breast milk and it's majorly uh, about the things that uh, formula milk uh, production is trying to replicate from the breast milk so just the science behind formula milk and how to improve it and how to get so close to breast milk because we all know it's scientifically impossible and the reason why it's scientifically impossible to replicate breast milk is because there are some things in breast milk that cannot be chemically reproduced like hormones um, some nutrients that are really so complex that cannot be replicated in the formula milk so yeah so the article was majorly like focusing on that but i picked up a few things because i'm a breastfeeding mom so i picked up a few things on the science behind breast milk so like I, my, my 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 research is majorly like split into the things in breast milk that cannot be replicated in formula milk and not necessarily like how the science behind formula milk and all that but i think it would be nice if your your baby's on formula milk for you to read the article so you're able to understand I know of people who uh, make their own formula milk so that's quite interesting so yeah so um, you can read that and it will be very helpful if you're able to you can make your own formula milk and that will be so bomb so yeah so mine is basically just the science behind breast milk it's going to be I don't go into the nitty-gritties like I'm just going to give an overview of what it is really because the rest of it is just so much science and we are not into that yeah so Okay, so basically you know the components of breast milk. So breast milk is beneficial because it helps in the development of brain, immune system, and the digestive tract. So forgive me, I'm going to read obviously. So yeah, so the three main importance of breast milk is developing the brain, developing the immune system, and digestive tracts for the baby. Yeah? So yeah, and then there are also, I realized like quite interesting, there are also other things that are passed on to the baby from breast milk and that not that's what got my attention so um on the other side there are chemical contaminants that can be passed from mother to baby yeah like so yeah this lady like she found out that she had some toxins from i don't know 40 years ago in some war where so that she's never even been to japan and it's some chemical that was found in japan and she's never even been to japan and she wondered how that got into her body so you can imagine like she passed the chemical those chemical contaminants to the baby through breastfeeding so that's quite interesting so it's it, it's there's the, the upside of breast milk and then there's also the downside like you can pass things that are not good to your baby so also something else that was quite interesting which i didn't know so i was talking to my husband and telling him how i think maybe we should wean our baby off of breast milk because she's now 18 months but then he's like maybe not because the longer they stay on breast milk the the better for them for their for their health and all that so they also that the now he mentioned some of the things that change with breast milk so while i was reading the article it was like okay like i didn't even know that so like for example like one um, usually milk has proteins fats vitamins minerals digestive enzymes and hormones so yeah the hormones part was interesting because i remember like one day i was normally like at some point in my cycle i get constipated and i was wondering like i noticed like when i'm constipated the baby is also constipated obviously it's what we are eating maybe probably but for me my constipation usually comes with depending on where i am on my cycle so i thought maybe what if this is actually because it's 
again change of hormones in your body so what if like it's actually like i'm passing these hormones to the baby and that's why she's also getting constipated and so that's something i've entered about really deeply but maybe that could be a reason yeah and then um breast milk is rich in 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 material antibodies and has anti-infective properties yeah this is just really what it is yeah then did you know that milk is actually fattier in the afternoon and evening than it is in the morning so like the afternoon and evening milk is fattier than the morning milk i would want to say i probably think i know why but let me not because I, i could be giving wrong information but yeah it is I guess maybe the uh, but yeah it is so yeah that's quite interesting I didn't know that so and then um it's also uh, like while milk also changes while you're feeding so like the first gush of milk is purely to quench the baby's thirst so it's not full of all these nutrients it's just more diluted I guess so the first gush is to just quench the baby's thirst and then now the gush that comes afterwards it's purely for fulfilling so i didn't know that as well so if your baby just maybe just breastfeeds like for two minutes and then they stop and then again two minutes and then they stop probably they're just quenching their thirst but if they breastfeed for longer then they're, they're able to you know get the fulfilling part of the milk as opposed to just quenching their thirst also something quite interesting i didn't know so um milk milk has the it's creamier and hence obviously like the reason why milk is fulfilling later as opposed to just quenching your thirst it's because now it starts getting fattier and creamier as they breastfeed so yeah that's why ah i guess with all these things can you imagine like it changes depending on the day or the time of the day and it also changes depending on like do throughout the breastfeeding process it's changing so you can imagine how hard it is really for a formula milk to replicate breast milk yeah so um, there are also non nutrients ingredients in breast milk as we talked about like hormones cells including stem cells yeah and then micro rnas usually as uh, stands of genetic materials are also in the breast milk and then no one knows why they're there but maybe just remember they usually say like breast milk is like when you're breastfeeding your child it's like you it's your it's so it's such a personalized uh, feeling like you're really passing this personalized nutrients for diana specifically to your baby you know like someone else wouldn't be able to breastfeed my baby so it's just me breastfeeding my baby maybe that's why uh, all these things are passed to the baby you can imagine the rnas the cells the hormones and all these things those are such personalized uh, nutrients you know so i'm assuming maybe that's why again these things cannot be replicated really so when you're giving your baby a uh, formula milk it's purely just the basics of nutrients it, it can't replicate these other deep things like even like the personalized and nutrients and all that so yeah so but then again like it's just quite interesting like the science behind formula milk like i really really think sometimes even like as much as i'm breastfeeding uh, my baby sometimes i give her formula milk because again there are things that are there that you could be lacking in you so there are things it tries formula milk tries as much as possible to have all these nutrients so say for example i'm low on calcium or i'm low on potassium whatever other nutrients i'm low in uh, the form, formula milk has that fully fully covered so other than the personalized nutrition formula milk is also beneficial in case you're lacking anything so sometimes i give her but then i realize like she's gaining so much weight so yeah so Yeah that's really the science behind breast milk. So those are other things you didn't know about breast milk that obviously the things that are obvious. And uh, yeah if you come across any other thing as well that you feel like is such a wow like fact about breast milk you can share as well. Yeah and thank you so much for watching. I want it to be so short just with the basic of information that I got out from the from the article. I don't want to bombard you with all the details. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like this. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, this is the part where you like. Yeah, and also see you in my next episode, hopefully in a week's time. Bye.